It's Omar Adam and we're gonna do a video today about pocket please. This is episode 15. Episode 15. We have come a long, long way, folks. We have come a long, long way. And I am never gonna stop this series. I'm gonna continue this pocket plane series until level 100 because I do not wanna stop. It's a long, long way. Episode 15, people. Today's video is gonna be some tips and I'm gonna do a Cloud Nano review. So, first, let's start off with the Cloud Nano review. As you can see over here, let me first upgrade this. It will be good upgrading. Let's just do it to level 2. Okay, so as you can see, the Cloud Nano capacity is 17 people. This is a Cloud Nano P. Can go at a speed of 336 miles, fully upgraded, if fully upgraded. The range is 3,576 miles, fully upgraded. Weight 14.4 tons, fully upgraded. It's a class 3 plane. As you can see, I've upgraded the fuel tanks and carbon fiber, but not the speed. Because if you, uh, uh, if you upgrade the speed, then you lose more money. Because the plane needs more gas. So why not we try a flight to Shanghai. Let's just go for this 198. Let's see how much we earn. So we're just gonna go to Shanghai, you know. Okay, you know. Shanghai. And this cloud these cloud nanners are the last planes you unlock. So yes. The, this is my last plane I can unlock, the cloud nanner. So yeah, you know actually Nimblebid should do a big update, you know, thinking they should really do an update on this game, like introduce new planes, introduce new cities and all that stuff because they don't have all the cities in the world in pocket planes. They need to introduce more cities, they need to introduce more planes, make the game more fun. So they really need to make a major update and I hope Nimblebit's working on that. So we just need another 7 people to fly this baby to Shanghai. I believe it's only going to take like 1 minute. Because this plane is really fast. And we're in Tokyo, so yeah. Okay, so finding some jobs. And let's see how much we earn this cloud liner. Okay, so we are loading some. We just need two more people. Come on, man. Come on, Tokyo. You gotta give me the jobs faster. Okay, we're gonna Tokyo now and just wait a sec. Ah oh, man! Like seriously dude, come on! Get those jobs, baby! Okay, we're getting the jobs here. And I think... No, just leave it. Why don't we just fly to Xi'an? So as you can see, we're gonna fly Shanghai. Xi'an, and look at this, you only earn 681 for 7 minutes. Okay, I expected more, but if you fly to the same city, then basically you earn a lot. So yeah, that's basically the Cloud Liner review. I think the Cloud Liner is a really good plane, especially for flight crew events. Because if you're doing flight crew events in Class 3 airports, then you definitely can get 50 jobs really fast because of the cloud nanner. It can take 17, the capacity of it is 17. So if you do 17 times 2, if you do 17 times 2, it's already 34 jobs. So if you just do two flights full to the flight crew event, you'll get 34 jobs, which is just excellent. It really gets you that 50 jobs fast. And as you can see, there's still chemical spill in Berlin. Still another six hours left. And guys, after this chemical spill, I am gonna make my own flight crew. Yes. So if you wanna join, then you can join. Because this this is gonna be my flight crew. This is gonna be my flight crew. It's gonna be Omar Adam. And it's only for my subscribers and me. So subscribers and viewers looking here, if you wanna join my subscribe if you wanna join my flight crew. Then join it right now. It's just Omar Adam. And oh yes. Now as you can see in the events, still the chemical spill. Seattle Pumpkin Fest. Cars 
Dive to Mogadishu Gold Rush and the weather forecast for my channel today is Cincinnati Thunderstorm. So I'm gonna give you another tip where to start off in pocket planes. Oh yes, that's right. Now I think the best place to start in pocket planes. I think the best place to start in pocket planes has gotta be Africa. It's gotta be Africa, even though there are only three Class three airports in Africa altogether: Kinshasa, Lagos, and Cairo. I think I think that Africa is a good place to start because, as you can see, Africa is right here, and as you can see, you're already really close to South America, right? So if you just get Lagos or Kinshasa, you can already expand to South America. It's like a gateway into South America. So that's really good, you know, you can expand here, South America, you can expand upwards to Europe, and you can expand on the right here to Asia. So this is why I think the best place to start in pocket planes is Africa, because of its location. It's a gateway right here in South America, it's upwards is Europe, and on the left side, not really far away, is Asia. So I think Africa is the best place to start in pocket planes because of its location why am I getting a alarm I put an alarm freaking forgot to put it off that's really really strange as you can see the worst plane I'm gonna do some series it's gonna be the worst plane in pocket planes oops 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 let's just build that pure jet because you know pure jet is not a good plane at all because it is not good it is not good at all because you always you never earn a good profit from these planes so just let's see we're going to Tokyo here 2488 25 oh have I upgraded this plane have I upgraded it no why don't we just upgrade it why don't we just upgrade the speed one more level Okay, so we're going to go to Tokyo, and let's see how much we earn with this plane. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, we're going to go to Tokyo. We're going to go to New York first. We're going to go to Madrid. Karachi. Tokyo. Oh, okay, for an hour 20, that's pretty good, because I upgraded this plane. So basically, it's earning more money as I've upgraded it. But look at this. Just look at this everybody you lose 4,000 that's not good at all you lose 4,000 by just going but you want 6,000 profit so basically that's a profit but I do not like the pure jet at all because it's just not good it's just not good you see bye bye pure jet okay so as you can see in my hangar I just have an equinox pure jet and a bird scrap, so if you want these planes, please contact me because I want to get rid of them. As you can see my stats. As you can see my stats. Oh, and I got a text from Shoaib. What's up, bro? Okay, now as you can see, you know yesterday I did a cool thing. Yesterday, I actually... I actually made a flight that was seven days, one hour long. You see, my longest flight is 733,480 miles because yesterday I made a flight with a Birchcraft. I made a flight with this Birchcraft and I flew all around my cities and s the total time was 7 days, 1 hour, so a week for this plane to land. So I just made a really, really long flight of 7 days, 1 hour with this plane it was just crazy. I'll put the photo at the end of the video and it was just crazy. My hands were just painting after it. Seven days, one hour. But then I just boosted it with 338 bucks. And so if you want to make the longest flight, I made a flight seven days, one hour. And with this Birchcraft, I lost 330,000. Yes, with this Birchcraft, I made the flight seven days. I made a flight that took seven days, one hour, but I lost 330,000. That's quite a big amount losing that's a quite a big amount I'm losing yeah so what's up in big book I hope more people come to Nairobi with our nice new upgraded airport oh don't worry I'll come 
to Nairobi when I have the time. Bradwells. Oh, what a nice name, Bradwells. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to get the hot air balloon, but actually... I want to get the hot air balloon, and I want to do longest flight with the hot air balloon. But, but this, look at this. Freaking slow. 15 miles an hour. So if you want to do the longest flight, it's better to do it with a hot air balloon because it is so slow. So whenever I, I'm going to join an event, I hope the next event is a hot air balloon, and I will get a hot air balloon, and I will do a really, really long flight. I'm going to do a flight that's like one month or... One year, haha, <laughs> let's see, one month. I'm gonna do a flight with this if I get it, and it's gonna last one month. But really, your hands are gonna pain. Because it is, really, your hands are gonna pain. As you can see, I've got two P40 Warhawks body. I have got two P40 Warhawks body. So if you want one of them, I'm only gonna sell one because I need the other one. I really like the P40 Warhawk, it's actually a good plane. So I'm going to keep one part. I have two bodies. So if anyone wants one body, please comment in the comment section that you want that you want one of the P40 Warhawks body. And as you can see, I have a Concord body as well. And what I want to do is I just need the controls and engine and I am going to get this beast. I am going to get this beast. Just look at it. 400 miles an hour. Wow. That is just it's a beast. This plane is just a beast. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to show the photo of the longest flight I did yesterday. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe for more Pocket Planes videos. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Peace. Like, rate, comment, and subscribe for more Pocket Planes videos. And also, subscribe to Steven Beleza, who's also a very good Pocket Planes YouTuber. Goodbye, and have a nice day.